Hey, welcome back to Off The Grid with Bert. Well, finally, after nearly six weeks of no wind, the Easter Breeze I-1500 is spinning up. And so far, so good. I uh, saw a peak output of 1100 watts before. Not complaining about that. I mean, honestly, it's not the best place for wind here because of the trees, but northerly winds are the best for getting power here. Um, the south, which is that direction, not so good. Um, and obviously these trees cause problems as well. <clears throat> but yeah, we've seen some good action on this today. So i um, have to wait for another gust to come through and see if I can show you uh, Bit of output on the watt meter. Now that I've started recording, of course, the wind's dropped off. Murphy's Law. <sighs> waiting, waiting. You see, the problem here is the gusts are fairly sporadic too, so you get a decent gust but it only lasts for a few seconds and then the wind dies back off again so you get spurts of power um, but nothing like really continuous like you get if you're close to the sea or whatever <clears throat> which is a shame it's completely stopped now of course but I can hear another gust coming so see what happens there she goes Now I might have to pull the turbine back down because there seems to be an imbalance in the hub. Um, despite checking the blade distances and all of that stuff first, uh, there is a little bit of wobble in the hub and I actually think it might be a manufacturing problem with the hub itself. Uh, I've got to get it down to confirm, but I'll be going after Rista Breeze for that because that's just not good enough. Won't be trying to fix it myself because uh, why should I when you pay good money for something you, you expect good quality right let's go and have a look at the watt meter there we go 71 oh there we go 300 50. Now you'll see the wattage fluctuate up and down a bit with this controller because it's got the boost buck function in it. The MPPT side of it is uh, trying to make use of the lower output voltage of the turbine as it starts to produce from about 10 volts up um, so it'll go up and down a bit until it settles into a spot where it likes and then it'll start to uh, you'll start to see more continuous higher output the controller is fairly smart in the fact that it lets the turbine get up a few rpms before it starts loading it up see at the back here in the minute we're pulling in 1.7 kilowatts on the solar array number two <clears throat> I've got two arrays here one's connected to the grow watt con inverter and uh, the other array is connected to this Wee Panda uh, runner so far these have been really successful MPPT controllers they work really good See, now it's letting the turbine build up some RPM. I can hear it going up on the roof. So it lets it speed up and then starts loading it. As you can see, the wattage just goes up and up and up. I 
I'll tell you what, this is a massive power improvement over the Type Ma vertical axis wind turbine that was sitting here before. Uh, if you look at my other video, you'll see that one. Utterly useless. Um, you just can't beat a prop type turbine. They just, for the power you get out of them, yeah, they're just, they're just unbeatable. Got some good gusts coming now. Let's see what we get this time. Yeah, nearly hit 400 then. And we got a gust this morning, as I said earlier, that we got 1100 watts showing up on this. Um, Yeah, it's good. And we've got a lot of loads running at the minute. I've got the immersion heater in the hot water system running and also the air conditioner in the off the grid with bird off grid Viscount Caravan is also running. You see that wattage just at the start will bounce up and down. Yep. It's as the MPPT system finds the there we go, 500 watts. It optimizes the power output from the turbine. So yeah, so you'll see it bounce up and down a bit till it finds a sweet spot and then it just goes to town. <coughs> Yeah, anyway, the Easter Breeze I 1500 success, uh, apart from that slight wobble in the hub. I've got to pull it back down and have a look at that. It might be something something else causing a problem there, but either way, uh, we'll check all of that out. And yeah, just to show you the, the off-grid van, here we go, 24 foot. 1979 Viscount, the very last of the uh, the bull nose sort of shape. And on these later models, um, they used to sort of mirror that shape at the front with the rear window, but on these later ones, they went with a smooth tapered rear end, which I think looks a lot nicer. Um, and she's just had some new tires put on, new tires and rims. So that it's ready to move if I need to. Oh dear, it's a great man. Um, hasn't got the best insulation in it, but uh, yeah, it does the job. All right, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, see ya. Don't forget to like and subscribe.